So today I have a cold and my voice is probably not 100%, but what are you going to do? I'm going to be unboxing and having a quick look at the EK Supreme HF. So this is basically like the old EK Supreme except better. And what makes it better is that it's higher flow and in theory it performs better. It's available in four different flavors, Copper Plexi, Copper Acetal, Nickel Plexi, and Nickel Acetal. So basically I'll explain what that means in a minute when we get the block open. You can see that, um, actually I don't think I've ever unboxed an EK product on my blog, but they have dramatically improved their packaging from where it was a year plus ago. And now you can see they've got like this, they've got like this color coded theme going. So this is a CPU block, but they have like codes for reservoirs, radiators, I don't know what these are. Maybe these aren't reservoirs. I don't know. Something else. Whatever. But this is a block, okay? It's orange, so it's color-coded. Okay, yeah, here we go. Extreme cooling performance. Standard G1 quarter threads for all standard flow systems. Low restriction and pressure drop. Mounting mechanism included. And high-quality materials used. I mean, at the end of the day, there's not a whole lot you can say in terms of marketing speech about something like a water block because... It either looks good and performs, or it doesn't look good and doesn't perform, because that's all the water cooling guys really care about, is how does it look, and what's the performance like. So, the first thing we've got in terms of accessories is a standard bolt-through mounting kit. So you've got four screws, or I mean, pardon me, four bolts, four springs, uh, eight washers, and four thumb screws, or thumb nut. So those, you don't need a backplate in order to mount them, but it looks like EK has included backplates, so I should just kind of stuff that in there okay and then we've got five ex four accelerator plates so the block actually includes one so depending on whether you want more flow okay so this would be a higher flow design versus if you want a more concentrated focus design say for example if you have a smaller die and you're not so much worried about the performance of other blocks in your system or there's a compromise here for like a larger die you can actually tweak the way this block flows and they even include a blank one that you can use to cut your own. So that's pretty cool. It includes an instruction manual, okay, which gives you the basics for how to install it. You put, use your bolt through, you do this, you do that. Connecting the water, okay. Shows all of your different, okay, so the number three is the stock one, so it includes all of the other ones. All right, so let's uh, have a look at the backplate. Oh, this is really nice. EK never used to include backplates with their blocks, which is why I assume they didn't, but it looks like in here we've got four plastic washers as well as a very nice uh, rubber rubber piece here to, to keep the back plate away from the back of your board as well as a metal back plate. Very nice. Okay, so let's get this out. Do not forget other EK products. So there, that's what the codes mean. All right, that's not so difficult. Okay, now let's get... Oh, it comes with some MX2 thermal compound. Great. I love seeing high quality thermal compound included with cooling products. Okay, so then we've actually got the EK Supreme HF. This is a snazzy looking block. So. The materials. Basically, uh, okay, so uh, my battery ran out. Sorry about that. Either way, basically, like I was saying, we're looking at the base material here. So as I mentioned before, this is a plexi copper model. So this would be kind of a silver color if we were looking at the, at the nickel plated model. And then the top would be uh, plexi, okay, or it could be acetal, which would be like a black, um, a black solid material rather than one that you can see through. Okay, so we've got like a black hold down plate, which is very nice. It's powder coated, so that's going to be a very durable finish there. And we should do the obligatory, look how shiny that is shot. Holy smokes, look at that. That is very nice. You can like see all around the cameraman's office here, depending where I aim it. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so that pretty much covers it. I mean, the performance of this block is estimated to be around the same as some of the other top performing blocks in the market. So I do plan to have a look at that later on down the road. Anyway, thank you for checking out my quick unboxing and first look at the EK Supreme HF.